Okay, so we're going to create a Sandvik Capto style holder. This is a uh, what they call EH series holder. So it's got a Capto interface and then you've got the EH interface on the end for their screw on type of inserts. So when you read it in, it comes in in the top view looking like this and what we want to do is make sure the orientation is correct so we want it centered about x y zero and then this face here the one that i selected here should be at z zero and that appears to be the case so typically with sandvik products uh, with their solids that they offer for download they are oriented and positioned correctly most of the time so here, if you wanted to change the color, you know, we can do that. Uh, this is gray. It's pretty much close to what they already do, so I'm going to leave everything alone. But what I want to do is create a tool adapter position so that when I create a tool in a spree, it's going to appear here at the end. And depending on how, you know, tall my screw uh, insert is, you know, I would define that inside of the Esprit tool page. So what I'm going to do is go to the manipulation toolbar and here we have modify work plane. If you're not set to modify work plane, you can click the little arrow here on the bottom right and you'll get your list. Just click on the top modify work plane and then your icon should look like this. So just go ahead and make sure that's selected and then your UVW will kind of grow in size a little bit. So you can see that it has some different indicators there for rotating about a different axis. And as you move your, your uh, mouse over each of these things, it will do something different. So we want to shift this in Z. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Z. And then I can graphically move it to wherever I want. And what I want to do is just... Uh, you know, go ahead and grab on the center here. If you're in a, uh, a F4 view, you can go ahead and move your mouse to an extremity point somewhere on the face of the holder solid and then come here and create a new plane and we'll call it tool adapter position number one, TA underscore one. I'm going to say OK. And then what we can do is uh, go to File, Save As, and then we can pick Holder File, and then we can name our file, and go ahead and save that into our GDML list. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this model inside of Machine Tool Builder to just show how we can change the default view. So here is our holder and what I want to do is just kind of position it so that when I'm looking at my files and I want to load something I'll visually have an indication of what this looks like in addition to the um, you know the nomenclature of the file itself so you can come here to go file I'm sorry view and say set preview and then just come to file and say save again and you'll see your file is updated we'll go ahead and kill this window and then what I'm going to do is bring in all of the the ones that I've done so far and switch to large icons and now you can see the difference between the one that I just changed the view for and the other ones that all still have the uh, the top view associated with them so you can do this with all of your files I'll just highlight a couple more here <clears throat> And inside Machine Tool Builder, again, you can rotate the view and save the file. If you haven't saved a view yet, it will automatically save for you if you just rotate and hit Control S. And now you can see in the file, the Windows File Preview, that we can visually see what the holder is going to look like in addition to the nomenclature, you know, underneath. So that is how you can quickly build a Capto interface. It's the same as any milling holder, but just wanted to make sure that uh, if you were doing stuff like this, that you would see how to do it correctly. So again, let us know if you have any questions or requests for these tutorial videos. Uh, hopefully this will help you build more accurate digital twin simulations in Esprit.